My name's DJ Uni, the only music making unicorn around. And in this video, I'm sharing with you my secrets on how to make tasty lo-fi beats in GarageBand. I'm gonna share with you unicorn secrets on how to get the best synth sounds, key sounds, drum sounds, bass sounds, samples and loops, and a whole lot more. Including how to play those emotive lo-fi chords that make you wanna cry. Then stick around till the end where we put it all together to make our very own lo-fi set. It's time to dive in my lo-fi patty ones. So before we get started, you need to remember that lo-fi beats are chill beats. So start by slowing down the tempo of your song to about 65 BPM. And now we're ready to get started. First things first, the key to any good lo-fi beat in my unicorn opinion is an emotive piano part or a moody synth keys part. So to do that, you'll simply add a new software instrument track, then Go to piano and click on the Steinway Grand. But you see, just playing the stock piano isn't gonna make you cry. We need to lo-fi that muggy. So hit B on your typing keyboard and we'll adjust some of the parameters of this piano. Simply turn the delay up to 12 o'clock, the ambience up to 12 o'clock as well, and the reverb on over to three o'clock. And now let's give it a whirl, boys and girls. could make even a grown man cry. But maybe you're not feeling a piano for your lo-fi track and you're thinking of more of an electric keyboard. Well, let me show you a scrumptious electric keyboard right here in GarageBand. Simply go over to the vintage electric piano menu and click on the wide suitcase. Mm, 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 that's good. Now, if you want to throw a little more sauce on it, all you have to do is nudge up the parameters on this side of the window. Ah, yes, now we're in lo-fi land. But maybe you're still not satisfied and you're feeling more of a synth keys part for your lo-fi jam. Well, I'm about to show you one of the tastiest lo-fi patches in all of GarageBand, hands down. It's called the Outer Lands Synth, and you can find it by going to the Synthesizer menu, clicking on Pads, and then scrolling down until you find the Outer Lands Synth. Let's give it a go, shall we? If that's not lo-fi, I don't know what is. I mean, listen to this thing. It has built-in vinyl crackle. Now you're probably saying that's all well and good, you found me some great patches, but how do you play those moody lo-fi chords? Let's dive into the next section and find out. In lo-fi hip-hop, the most common chords that are used are what are called seventh chords. The real jazzy, soulful, chill kind of chords. And there's two simple ways to take any normal chord and put some lo-fi on that puppy. The first method simply involves taking the first note in your chord and moving it one key to the left. The second option is to keep the first note in your chord the same and simply add a fourth note to the end of the chord. Now this fourth note should be the same as the first note in your chord moved one key to the left, but we're gonna put it one octave higher. That's a thing of beauty, isn't it? Now for minor chords, we'll use the exact same methods, except we're gonna take that first note in our chord and move it two keys to the left as opposed to one. lo-fi, doesn't it? <laughs> now, some of you unicornies out there are starting to cry because you don't play keys, do you? Well, don't cry, my lo-fi padawans. There's good news for you. Loops! 
You see, there are hundreds of piano loops and electric keyboard loops and synth key loops that you can add into your project without even having to touch a keyboard. Simply click on the loops button in the top right hand of the screen and then click on instruments and then choose an instrument like piano. Click on electric piano. Or click on synths and do some searching around. Then once you find the one you like, you simply drag it and drop it into your project. Now you're probably looking at my drum tracks going, how did you get those sick beats in your lo-fi jam? Well, let's dive into the next section and find out boys and girls. Once you have your moody piano part or your loop in place, it's time to drop a beat on it. So we'll start by creating a new track and selecting the drummer or what I like to call the automatic drummer. Now by default, it's gonna give you Kyle, a rock style drummer. So I want you to go over to the menu and click on R&B and then select Rose. Now Rose sounds pretty legit right off the bat. But I wanna customize her sound a bit and give it more of a lo-fi vibe. First, we'll start by changing the kit that she's playing. Let's go to the electronic drum kit menu and select Beat Machine. Dang. Next, we're gonna shape the sound of this kit just a little bit. So hit B on your typing keyboard and then click on EQ. Now, click on this button right here to turn on what's called the low pass filter and then drag it down until the dot hits 5K. It just gives it a little more vintage vibe. You can play with how much or how little you want of the low pass filter, but I think 5K is a great place to start. Thirdly, let's add a little reverb to our drum track. Here's how. Click back over to controls, click the drop down menu that says plugins, and then click on this reverb slider here and turn it up to about mm, halfway. Ah yeah, it just helps it fit in the space a little bit better. And again, you decide how much or how little reverb you want on your drum track. And before we move on from drums, here's one last pro tip for when you're using the automatic drummer. When you have a piano line or a loop that has a pretty unique rhythm and you want the automatic drummer to match that rhythm, make sure you have the drum track selected and then hit E on your typing keyboard. Then when you're in this menu, hit the follow button and select your loop or your piano part. Now the kicks and the snares of the drum performance will line up more closely with your loop or your piano part. Now that we've talked about drums, you're probably looking at my bass and going, how do you do that bass? Well, here's how I do that bass. I'm going to show you two of my favorite bass sounds in GarageBand, but either way, you have to start by creating a new software instrument track. First, if I want a live groovy bass kind of feel, then I'll go with the muted bass and it sounds like this. Hmm, just has that old school groove to it. Next, if I'm looking for more of an electronic or synth bass feel, then I usually start with the deep sub bass. gives you a more synthy vibe that's a lot like an 808. Now that we've talked about some of the main elements of a good lo-fi beat, 
Let's finish out this video by diving into our final section, which is about the icing on the cake. Those little extras like vinyl scratches or rain sounds or an old radio voice to play in the background. Let's start with the vinyl scratch sound, and this is really pretty easy. All you have to do is go up to the loops library, type in vinyl, and then I've already done the searching for you. And in my opinion, the best scratch sound is vinyl scratch 22. So drag and drop that loop in your project, loop it out several times, and now you have a vinyl scratch in your project. Now the vinyl scratch sounds really cool, but I think it needs some shaping because it's a little too in your face. So hit B on your typing keyboard, bring up that smart controls window again, click on EQ again, and again, let's take that low pass filter and bring it down and then we'll go to the other end and we'll turn on the high pass filter and we'll bring it up until it hits 500 Hertz. Now it sounds a bit more vintage and a bit more subtle, which is nice. And of course, we'll want to turn down the volume a bit on this vinyl scratch track. Now, I personally like a nice soaking rain sound. And yes, GarageBand has that too. Just type in rain into the search bar of the loops browser. And again, you'll find some really cool rain loops. Then of course, you'll simply drag and drop the loop you want into your project. And again, with this rain loop, I want to soften it up just a little bit. So I'm going to go to the smart controls window, click EQ, turn on that low pass filter. But this time I'm only going to bring it down to about 10 K. Ah, that's nice. And lastly, let's talk about how to get that old school radio voice in your project. I'm a unicorn. Now you could go out and search for samples, but I like to make my own samples. So the first step would be well, recording yourself really saying simple. whatever you want to say. I'm a unicorn. Then next, I would recommend using the telephone preset that GarageBand gives you for vocals. But maybe your voice isn't well, very deep really and you want to make it go low. Well, you can select the pitch shifter plugin and turn it down about three semitones for a lower, more radio like voice. Well, it's really simple, you see. Then the last thing this voice needs is a little lo fi sauce. So let's bring up the master echo and the master reverb about to here and try it now. Well, it's well, really simple, you really see. Simple. Ah, yeah. And let's just go ahead and make a full on lo fi music video out of this thing. Well, it's really simple, you see. I'm a unicorn. I'm from the land of unicornicopia. My poop is rainbow. Food. 